Do you have a WAV or any other audio file on your iPhone or your iPad and you want to convert it to an MP3? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and this is Studio Live Today where I help you create, record and release your best music. And if you are creating music on your iPhone or your iPad, there may be a time where you want to convert a WAV file or an AIF or some other audio format into an MP3. Now, iPhone and iPad make it easy to convert to M4A, which is Apple's version of a compressed audio file, but to convert to MP3 is a lot more difficult. So in this video, we're gonna break it down and I'm gonna show you the easiest way that I found to do this conversion. Let's jump in and take a look now. So first of all, let's generate our WAV file. I'm using a GarageBand project here. If you've already got a WAV or AIF file, you can skip this step, but let's just show you this quickly. I'm gonna tap select. I'm gonna select on the project I want and hit share in the bottom left corner. I'm then gonna tap song to share it as a song and I'm gonna leave it as uncompressed WAV, a 44.1 kilohertz, 24 bit WAV file. And I'm gonna tap on the share button. This is then gonna ask me where I want to save it. And this is the important part because what I actually wanna do is tap on open in because this is gonna export the song and it's going to allow me to choose where to save it. So if you are downloading a, a file or you're saving a file from somewhere else or you're using iCloud Drive, you just need to know where you're going to actually save it. So now I'm going to tap save to files and what I'll do here is I'll actually just choose to save this on my iPad. And I'm gonna put it straight in my GarageBand folder here because I know where that is. You can save it in your iCloud Drive and create a folder and put it wherever you like. But anywhere that your Files app can find it is fine. And if you need to learn how to use the Files app, there's a video linked up the top there right now and down in the description. But let's tap on Add. This is now gonna save that out. And now we have our WAV file ready to convert. And just to check on that, we're here in the Files app. I'm gonna to go to On My iPad. I'm gonna tap GarageBand and here we go. There is that 16 bar groove. Now it's only a very short song, so it's only 8.1 megabytes. If you've got a full three, four, five minute song, it's probably gonna be 30, 40, maybe 50 megabyte file. But I chose a small one just to make it easier for us here. So now let me show you how we can use the onlineconverter.com to actually convert this over to an MP3 file. Now to work with downloaded files, we need a browser that supports downloading files. Now Safari and Google Chrome and some of our standard browsers don't support this. So what we need to do is jump in here to the App Store. We're gonna go to search and we're gonna download the EDL browser. So if we search EDL browser, here in our app store. Then the first options that come up here, we've got the EDL HD free and we've got EDL Lite. So if you're on your iPad, select EDL HD free. If you're on your iPhone, download EDL Lite. And these will allow us to actually download from the conversion site that we're gonna use. So let's tap on the open button here to open the EDL HD browser. And once it is loaded up, it's going to present us with this screen here, which is just like any other browser. We can just tap in the top section here and now we can actually go to onlineconverter.com. So we're just gonna type this in here, onlineconverter.com and hit the go button. And this is gonna to go to the website onlineconverter.com, which is a very cool and free online converter website that lets you convert from a bunch of different file formats. But what we want is the audio converter. So let's scroll down here to audio converter and we've got convert to MP3, which is our top option here. We're gonna tap on go in the middle there. And this is gonna take us into the online audio converter to convert to an MP3. So you can see at the top there, we've got convert audio to MP3. The source is gonna be an upload file. And now we can choose our file. And this is where using the EDL browser makes things easier for the uploading, but especially for the downloading. So we'll get to that in a moment, but let us tap on choose file here. And it's gonna bring up a little dialog box here in a moment. There we go. And we're gonna tap on browse because we wanna go into our files app and browse for that file. So here we are, we can just use the recent if we want. So it's right there, 16 bar groove. But just to show you how to locate it, if it's not there, we tap on browse and we go into GarageBand here. Actually, we're in the iCloud drive. We'll go back to locations at the top. We'll go on my iPad, then we'll go GarageBand. And then here we are, 16 bar groove. There's our WAV file. We're gonna tap on that one and that is gonna load up. There it is, 16 bar groove dot wave. Now the maximum file size here is 200 megabytes. So if you've got a really long audio file that's more than 200 meg, it's not gonna work here. The options button here, if we tap on that one, it's going to select that, and now we can select our audio quality. By default, it's 128 kilobit, which is okay, but what I would suggest if you are 
using MP3 is to use either 192, 256, or even 320 kilobit per second. It's going to give you a better quality file. For this example, I'm just going to choose 192, and now I'm ready to convert. You can tap on the terms there and learn all about the terms. I won't go into detail in this video. You can read all of those on your own. It is a pretty good site, but again, make sure that you read all those terms and conditions because whenever you're using something for free, you are the product. So these ads that you're seeing around here are the reason that we can do this conversion for free here. So let's tap on the convert button now. And that is going to go away and upload our file. And once it is uploaded, you can see we've got our progress bar there. Once it's uploaded this file, it's only 7.8 megabytes. Then I'll return and I'll show you what our next step is. So that has now completed, it says completed and starting download. Now, because we're using a mobile browser, it doesn't usually pop up and let you actually download it. So we're gonna have to tap the click here to download manually. Now we can download it once per day. See, there we go, plug in, handled, load. Don't know what that means, but we're gonna click on the click here and now it's going to actually download this file. So if we tap that, here it goes, it's going to start downloading any moment now. There we go, we're gonna tap download as, and then we can actually name this file. So we'll just leave it as 12bargroove.mp3, we'll tap okay. And now it's gonna actually start downloading that file. And if we actually tap on our files button down the bottom here, you can see that that download is happening. In fact, it has already been completed. So there it is. Now there's one more step here to get this back over into iOS that we need to do. And that is to tap these three lines to the right here, and we can now actually save this. We can open this in. So that's what we're gonna use. We're gonna use open in, and now it's gonna bring up our options here where we can tap save to files. And now we get this familiar pop-up box and let's save it back into that same location. So we're just gonna go back to GarageBand. We're gonna tap add and there we go. That is all done. So now let's jump back to the files app and see the original and now our converted MP3 file that are gonna be located in there. And here we go, we're back in files, and there you can see that we've got our 16 bar Groove WAV file, 6.1, no, 8.1 megabytes, and we've got our 16 bar Groove MP3 file at just 739 kilobytes. So these are our two files. If we tap on the original and tap it like so, we can play it here in quick time. Tap on done there. If we play our MP3 file, let's hit play. Hit done, and there you go. So we've got those two versions of those files here in our files app. So yeah, there's a couple of steps in there, but once you've downloaded the EDL browser, once you're familiar with just going to online converter, selecting your initial file, and then converting it away and saving it out here, it's only really a three-step process and any other audio file you can get. And as you would have seen from online converter, there's a bunch of different formats that you can go to and from. Once again, uh, your mileage may vary. Make sure you read those terms and conditions if that's something that you're concerned about. And again, you are uploading to another source. So if you've got a file that's particularly uh, confidential, I wouldn't suggest using an online, for online file conversion service to use that. But if you're just taking your audio file that you've created in GarageBand or any other platform and you want to convert it to MP3 to whatever other types of uh, file that you want, then this is a great way and a quick way to do that 100% for free right here on your iPhone or your iPad. And there you have it, what I think is the easiest way currently to convert files into MP3 right here on your iPhone or your iPad. There's two more videos down below all about using files in iOS if you wanna check those out as well. You can also subscribe to the channel by clicking or tapping on the Studio Live Today icon and I'll see you on the next video.